Hey guys, welcome to my studio. I'm gonna give you a little tour so you can see where I spend my days and um, how I store things and some little insights into my studio life. So here we go. Here we are in my little upstairs studio room. And this is the drafting table where I spend most of my time. Um, you can see that I have chosen to have this like smaller pop-up um, drawing board rather than popping up this larger one here um, because this, this large piece of desk does pop forward, but I've found it's a lot easier um, to have more flat space because I like to lay out lots of supplies at once. So uh, I just got one of these little drawing boards. And here's some of my storage. This just has like my travel pencils and stuff. Um, and here is kind of like random supplies. Here we've got like all my gesso and matte medium and sort of some other sprays and glues and stuff. Some more random paints and like wires. Um, this is what I use to store my brushes in when I travel. And down here is my acrylic paints. And I have this beautiful storage method of just putting them all in this plastic bag. Um, and that's because I, I paint with a lot of different paints. And so, you know, I like to be able to pull them out and put them away really easily. So rather than either keeping all my paints out, which some artists do, or, um, you know, having them like displayed in some way or something, um, I like to just be able to swap them out really easily. So I just keep them in plastic bags and when I'm using them, I pull the whole bag out and have it out on my desk. Whoa. Over here, I've got some of my drawing supplies, um, random stuff. This, I use this drawer a lot, as you can tell. This is my pencil drawer where I have my like sort of loose active pencils that I'm that are currently in use. Um, there's a lot as you can see. Um, and then in here, eh, stuck right now, but this is, oh, there we go. This is all of my pen and ink stuff. Um, like, yeah, all of my art pens. And this one has almost nothing in it. Oh yeah, I have, I have yet to put that together. That'll be fun. And in here, let's see. So here's where I've got like my bulk drawing supplies. So I buy pencils in bulk um, in these like large boxes. Um, so this is where the ones that are unused live. Um, and then some extra like sharpeners and um, a box full of pencil shavings. <sighs> All of my ink supplies. So I've got a ton of inks, although I mainly just use this one. It's my favorite. I also have this walnut ink that I made um, out of the black walnuts in our backyard. I've got my watercolors again in the bag so I can just pull them out really easily palette, tape, what's in here, oh yeah this is where I have my gouache, um, both acrylic gouache and regular gouache, and then a whole bunch of stuff that I don't really use that much. I've got an extra light bulb, some transfer papers that I, I don't really use. A fan, 
for when it gets really warm up here. We're on the second floor of the house, so it can get a little hot. Um, I've got my paint brushes, which these are mostly my acrylic brushes, and then I have a small set of kind of nicer brushes that I keep for watercolor. My trusty old Panasonic pencil sharpener. This thing is so old. Um, I inherited it and uh, it works really, really well still. Plants, the view of my street. <laughs> um, here we've got all of my ruler storage and a bulletin board with one of my um, project sheets. This is how I keep track of big projects. I have the list of illustrations and then the due dates for the sketches and finals. And um, so I just follow that. And actually, I have a few that I can check off on that list. I should do that. So this may be a small room. It's the smallest room in the house, but it has one of the biggest closets in the house. And this is one of the best things about this room because I need all the storage that I can get. It's just the best. So this set of drawers is really key for me. Um, I have a ton of artwork and um, sketchbooks and papers that I need to keep nice and tidy and organized. So these Ikea drawers are great. And the way I've organized it is the top two drawers are current projects. So they're not very full. Um, that way I can just sort of keep on top of the current projects that I have going. And then the next drawers are storage of finished art. Um, a lot of these are packaged so that I can bring them to conventions or just have them like ready to ship. Some more finished art. This is from a book. Uh, even more. And often when I have a large project, um, I'll take one of these plastic sleeves and I'll just put all of the pieces of art for that project into this one sleeve so that they're kept all together. Um, but that way I can have multiple projects in one drawer and they don't get mixed together. So you can see here I've got this book all in one. I've got this with another book, all, and that's in its own thing. And then there's another one underneath there. So now we're getting into the art supplies drawers. Um, this is my acrylic palette and some extra storyboard printouts and some other tools. And then we've got my drawing pads. I've got tons and tons and tons of drawing pads. And then larger drawing pads plus some specialty papers like tracing paper, Bristol, vellum, uh, all kinds of stuff. Watercolor paper. I've got some loose sheets, but it's actually mostly contained in these watercolor blocks. And I have all different sizes, mostly hot press. Illustration board. And I have a lot of blank illustration board under there, but then I also have these little pieces that I've pre-painted and that I'll draw on top of eventually. And random stuff drawer. We all have to have a few of those. So hiding back in here, that's my light box right there. There's some rolls of paper, camera, box full of old sketchbooks and if you can see it right there that's my mat cutter for when I'm doing framing. Up on top here I've got my larger paper pads that don't quite fit in the drawers 
And then up here I've got more storage for paints that I don't use so often and um, like postcards, some sewing supplies and other like crafting supplies. I do a lot of crafting and things other than um, illustration. When I'm feeling creative, sometimes I like to do something besides drawing. So here's my storage for all of my fabrics. This is like a huge bin. There's a ton of fabric in there. And then this is more like fabric storage and um, other craft supplies. These drawers are real random. Let's see what's in here. Um, we've got, oh yeah, some children's Crayola crayons. More craft supplies. Um, some framing supplies. More tape. I should probably put that somewhere else. Uh, gosh, what even is all this stuff? Um, some other tools, glue gun, a little hand drill thing, um, some Sculpey clay, which I used to use a lot when I was um, like making maquettes, but I haven't used that stuff in a while. And yeah, other random crafty stuff. And then back in here, you can kind of see I've got all these old portfolios. These are full of artwork like from college and you know 10 years ago. And then I have, don't worry, this is fake fur, um, as is this one. Um, but all the way going back, this is an oddly shaped closet, but you can see I have all these things hanging and these are all costumes. Um, I got some of them from the DC Opera. They were having a sale. Um, I've gotten most of this stuff from like secondhand stores or they're things that I inherited. Um, but I love having a good costume closet. So then coming over here, this is my cutting table slash sewing table. So it's where I cut paper when I need to cut down paper into smaller sizes. It's also where I cut fabric and where I sew. And so because I use it for cutting, I keep all of my cutting tools over here. And then just some sewing stuff. And then on my shelves, I've got some of my favorite books are out. These really are not organized in any way other than these are the ones I like to look at the most. Um, my horse figurines. Here's some artwork that I have yet to find a, a place for and that still needs to be framed. This is a piece by my friend Owen Weber. And then behind that is one by Corey Godby. And then there's this beauty by Dennis Nolan. Oh, I can't wait to frame that. And I have all kinds of random knickknacks. Um, some more art supplies, my colored pencils, my uh, spray varnish and um, some spray glue, more figurines. These bookshelves are a mix of art books and just other books we have in our collection. So here's some more of my art books. And then over to the right, that is a big pile of um, yet to be used picture frames. That's uh, watercolor paper, large sheets that I'm storing back there. And bulletin boards with nothing on them. I had to take stuff down because I'm working on projects that I can't share yet. I have my little bear collection. This one right here uh, is by Claire Youngs. She's an artist in the UK and I love her. Books, books, books. Picture frames, dinosaurs, so that's pretty much the upstairs studio, and now we'll head downstairs. So this is where I have some of my books. This is mostly 
my picture book collection, which I keep near the front door, um, mainly because I often take these with me when I'm teaching. So I like to be able to just quickly grab them. And then I have this shelf with some random stuff and this great work of art by an artist named Jan Safka. And down here I'm sprouting some veggies. And this is a painting of my rabbit done by my friend Lisa. So now we're gonna head into the downstairs office space, which has this gate on it because the rabbit lives in here with her specially built ramp since she's an old lady. And I share this space with my husband. We actually just rejiggered it, so there's uh, no art on the wall there yet. Um, but this is my space. And so it's where I do all my digital stuff. And so I've got my big scanner and printer, which are currently covered. I made these dust covers for them because, you know, I don't use them every day. And with the rabbit in here, I just wanted to keep them protected. Uh, and also, I love pretty fabrics. And then I have my smaller printer as well. And my big desktop computer, which is great for working on projects. Um, I've got my bulletin board, which has my calendar on it. And I also pin other random stuff up there, like receipts and stuff. And these masks. Um, I got those two on the right uh, in Germany and the other two I made. And... I've got this art wall, uh, got some Rebecca Gay prints, this piece by my friend Scott Murphy, this is an Omar Ryan, Naomi Van Doren, Arthur Rackham, Ivan Bilibin, another Scott Murphy. Elizabeth Alba, another good friend. This is a little piece from a children's book called Caps for Sale. And then this is one of my pride and joys, um, this lady strangling a lion by William Steig, who if you don't know who William Steig is, uh, you should. So in these drawers, I, you know, they're, pretty standard um, office type stuff. Papers, inks, uh, packing supplies, my precious Mr. Rogers stamps. Um, this big paper, which I use for printing out book dummies and storyboards. Um, some more packing supplies and random paper. Let's see. More random stuff. A lot of mailing labels. Um, all my business cards. Yeah, I don't need to buy address labels for a while. And then this is like sort of random technology. Um, another scanner various plugs and cords and all that kind of stuff that's, you know, hard to keep organized. So since my husband's home working during the quarantine, he's also, he's got his desk here and this room has gotten a little crazy. Hi, bunny. And over here I've got some more books. Um, these are ones that sort of make sense to be down here, my writing books and some of my like fairy tale research books and then some um, more like business books and some of the things I've been published in. And yeah, some other larger books that don't fit on any other shelves. 
and we can say hi to the bunny. Bun bun. Hey. All right, that's it. Thank you for joining along with me and uh, I hope you guys all have a wonderful and creative rest of your day. Bye.